All right, and now let's talk about how we can set up local images in the source folder, which essentially is a better option for setting up the assets. Because like I keep saying, when the React builds our production application, effectively it optimizes those assets. So unlike the public one, where there's no optimization, we just dump the asset and that's it. In this case, React is trying to help us. And essentially by optimizing those assets, the result is that our application is going to be faster. And in order to showcase how that works, I decided to add one more book to our array. And essentially, we're just going to utilize the ES6 modules we covered already in the previous video. So first, I want you to go back to Amazon. So find that link or get your own images. It doesn't really matter. And just get for the book one and two. So in my case, I have these two. So I'm going to go as save image as I think I'm going to place it on desktop and I'm just going to go with book one. Then let me find the second one. I'll do the same thing. And now I just need to come up with the third one. This is probably going to be challenge, but I'm going to go with this one dad jokes. Why not? So let's go here. And I'm going to go with book three. And before we navigate to a desktop, let me also get the data for this book. So let me open this one up. And basically, this is going to be the title and this is going to be an author. So let's navigate to the books. And like I said, we want to add the third one. So let me copy and paste. And let's just change the values around. So these ones, I'm going to get from the Amazon. For now, I just want to change the ID, which is going to be three. Then we want to get the title. And I think I'm just going to go with the short one here, title. And let's get the author. Oops, keeps running away from me. Let me set it up over here. And now let's deal with those images. So I have these three images on my desktop. The folder structure is definitely up to you. For a bigger project, you'll mostly have like assets and then images folder, the CSS folder, and hopefully you see where I'm going with this. For now, we'll just create a images and place it in the source, but it's a must, it has to be in the source. So even if the structure is more nested, make sure that the parent, the main directory is still within the source, please don't place it in the public, it's not going to work. So let's grab the folder. And then we just want to move all of these images over here. Once they're there, let's move them to the source, like I just said. And here's the deal. We simply want to import those images one by one. And yes, this is a downside. If you have 100 images, you'll have to do this one by one. For example, if you have images in a public, then of course, you can just reference it as dot forward slash and then whatever is the path. So keep in mind, yes, it is a little bit more annoying technically, because we need to do this one by one. But the results are going to be better. And essentially, we want to import, we want to come up with some kind of name, and we need to look for images and then the file name. And notice again, full path, basically extension included. And then notice over here, instead of the local one, or the external one for the image, what do we do? We simply pass in that variable. So one, two and three in my case. So let me save this. I'm going to go to books. Again, like I said, we're not working anymore in index.js. We only need to focus on books.js. And one by one, let's grab them. Let's go over here and say import and img1 from and now we're looking in the images and then book, and I believe it was one. And this was the extension. So now we want to copy and paste. And then I want to set up multiple cursors. And let's just change these values. So this is going to be book two, and book three. And like I said, one by one, we'll just change it. We'll say IMG one, IMG two, and IMG three. 
IMG2. And the last one is going to be IMG3. Once we save, we should have a list of three books. And as you can see, images work as expected. Again, the main benefit of such approach, not just for images, again, we're covering images, keep in mind, it goes for all the assets, is that they get optimized when React, or more specifically, create React app, the tool that we're using, builds out our production ready application. And as a result, our applications are faster.